Good morning. I'm Veronica Brown, and this is actually my first live message for you guys today. Today, I want to focus on admit your mistakes. And we have so many wonderful and admire faith-based writers and authors. I really like to focus on a couple of today. Um, but first and foremost, let's take care of business. For those of you who have not found Christ yet and found an avenue to say the salvation so prayer, many. why don't we start with that today? Why don't you repeat after me? Father, I'm a sinner. And I repent of my sins. I believe that your son, Jesus Christ, died for me on the cross. And I want to be a part of Jesus Christ's kingdom. So I repent of all of my sins. So Lord Jesus, please come into my life. Live your life within me. And now I'm a member of the Most High God Kingdom. Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In the name of Jesus, thank you for washing all of my sins away. And again, I repent of all my sins. In the name of Jesus, amen. And let's get on with the subject today. Um, admit to all of your mistakes. Now, I'm sure so many of us have made mistakes. It's life. It's part of life. But when we make those mistakes, let's try to admit to those mistakes. God isn't breaking you. He's making you. And if he has committed sin, he will forgive. Confess your trespasses, trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. It's so important that you hear this particular verse from James 5, 15, 15, 16. Chapter 5, 15, verse 15 and 16. And let's read what it says here. It says, one of the many powerful teachings that comes up during the spring and fall biblical holidays is forgiveness and repentance. Working out our salvation always includes examining our lives, taking stock on how far we've come and how far we still have to go. And that's in 2 Corinthians 13.5. This includes learning to ask for forgiveness, extending forgiveness, and even forgiving ourselves. This principle is so vital to show up twice. It's so vital it showed up twice in the Lord's Prayer. So let me give you an example. Now, there are times in our lives, people that you know, people that you love, your loved ones have done some crazy things. To you and your family, people on the job, and I'm sure it happened to every one of us. But I must say, when it happened to you from your loved one, it's kind of astonishing. It's, I just can't believe it. But if they can face up to that, those mistakes, it can go a long way, not just for me, but for, for themselves as well, and also to God. In fact, God says, if you don't show the spirit of forgiveness, you won't be able to forgive. He won't be able to forgive you. Have you thought about that? That's pretty extreme. But it is what Jesus taught his disciples. If he taught his disciples, it had to be absolutely important to him for his disciples to know that so they can spread that along. God power for new beginnings is released by accepting responsibilities for your life, ignoring what you've done or blaming others 
for everything will just keep you in bondage. If you continue to talk about other subjects and you don't want to face up to what you did, what other things got to do with what you've done? What you've done to me, what I've done to you. Stay focused. Take that responsibility. You know, it's in all walks of life. It's in school. It's in our workplace. It's in our home. It's in our society. Please take hold. God's power for a new beginning is released by accepting responsibility for your life. Ignoring what you've done or blaming others for everything will just, again, keep you in bondage. Keep in mind that God doesn't use your past failures, sins, and mistakes for breaking you. He's using them to make you, to make you a better person. So don't fall into the trap of trying to hide and cover up the negative things from your past. But instead, do things God's way. Confess your fault. So that you may be healed. And this is from John, from James chapter 5, 16. Admit those bad decisions and shortcomings. Confess your sin and go to those and ask them to forgive you. Say you're sorry to them. And I know it takes a strong person to do that. But you need to do that for you, most importantly. And making sure you commit that to God. Let's pray about that. But one more thing. When the God of all mercy, grace, can transform you. When you do this, it will take you to a new level. And put you on a pathway to restoration. Wholeness and truth. And freedom in your life and it makes it better for everyone around you so today's prayer father god thank you for giving me the courage and strength to forgive others to forgive myself for all the mistakes i've made and sins i've committed right now i receive your grace mercy and forgiveness into my life i claim peace restoration wholeness and spiritual freedom in all my relationship, especially my relationship with you. I love you and thank you for this. In the name of Jesus, amen. And if you agree with me or disagree with today's subject, admit your mistakes, please let me know. Email me, leave me a comment, because we always can agree to disagree. And then I can see maybe another side of what you're saying. So please email me. Make a comment, and we can have that dialogue. Thank you, and you have a wonderful, blessed day. And God bless you. You, yes, each and every one of you.